What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got one big news story for you, so let's dive right in. Now, if you have an Android and you have friends on iPhone, you know the struggle sometimes with people on iPhone. They, uh, you know, they see the blue bubble or the green bubble uh, when they send a text message to somebody and they're like, ah, oh, no, I don't wanna message you anymore. And then when they text message their, their regular iPhone friends, it shows up as blue. But is there any solution? Well, there's been some weird workarounds, but now we're coming into potentially a really easy 60 second setup workaround and you don't even need to own any Apple hardware. So the app is called Sunbird Messaging and it's iMessage on Android. And you can see right here, it says, no computer or Apple device is needed, only your Android phone, plus a unified inbox for all your messages, including WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, SMS, and soon to come Telegram, Discord, RCS, Slack, and more, including Sunbird. So it, so Sunbird is gonna be able to do not only just iMessage, but it'll all do those other things as well, all in one single app. And they say it's a 60 second setup, it's secure and private with end-to-end -end encryption, and you get unified messaging of all your messaging apps in one place. Now I'll put my unique referral link down in the description down below. I signed up uh, to at least try to get an invite, and they say you get fully featured iMessage for Android, blue bubbles, no Apple device required, full quality pictures, video, and photo, and audio between Android and your iMessage friends, group chats, both SMS and iMessage, iMessage tapbacks and reactions that won't break your group messages, SMS and MMS, WhatsApp messaging, and exclusive gold bubble messaging suite just for Sunbird users that has the best of all platforms rolled into one beautiful, secure, and encrypted experience. Now you've got to imagine what's the catch, what's the cost. They're not saying there's any catch, they're also saying there's not any cost, but the way they word it on their site, it sounds like potentially they might have some kind of cost related after they build up a user base. Um, to me, it sounds like they're probably building this app out so they can sell it, which whatever, maybe someone buys it and uses it. Um, but this is very exciting to be able to have a messaging app that acts like iMessage and your iMessage friends won't freak out. Um, so I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled on this one. Like I said, if you wanna sign up for the beta, it's linked down below. So we just click on the link and you can go through my referral code and um, yeah, we can go that way. Um, also, what I wanted to add on, if you guys have the questions uh, at the end of this video, if you have a question, put hashtag question in your comment and then I'll find your question tomorrow. I'm answering two every single day for the month of December. Your question of the day is, do you want an iMessage competitor uh, or something that can integrate into iMessage on your Android phone so you can talk to your iMessage Android, uh, iPhone loving friends? Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's jump into the Q&A. First question comes from Bad, saying question, are you getting the new Honor V's I might pick it up, starts at 1,000 for the non-pen international versions. A few already have them. The 5,000 milliamp battery plus the fastest chip I would that would be in rotation with my Z Fold 3. Now, I probably won't pick up the, the Honor phones. Um, why? It goes back to really the, is it gonna help grow my channel? I'm gonna have to buy it myself, so I'll probably say no on that one. And the last question comes from Sheen Dalla. Question, why would the Fold 4 when you're in the Play Store, if you already have an app installed, it will say available on more devices. When you click on, it shows the um, Fold 4 model number as if it's not already installed on your phone. So what is the app installed on? Is there is it because they have see this device as a phone and tablet? but only installs the phone version. Sorry for the loaded question and happy birthday to your son. Thank you so much. Um, I, I've noticed that too. Why they do it, well, I, I know in terms of like you can install this on other devices, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, I know you could do that from the computer on, your webs on their website, but on the phone, I love that they added that functionality to it as well and made it really easy to see it. As for why they're adding in your Galaxy Z Fold 4 again, Maybe if you got a replacement, they might be showing that older phone. If it's not a replacement, you've only only had one Z Fold 4. I would guess. I don't think it's getting confused between the app being uh, the app being app thinking the phone's a phone and a tablet. I would guess it's just redundant and kind of almost like a bug. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Hashtag question, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.